Welcome or welcome back to Apple Play. So today I'm going to show you how to make a Roblox animation intro. So for this you need a PC and when you go into Roblox Studio you're going to see a base plate. So you want to go ahead and click top so that your screen goes to the top of the base plate. And then you want to click bottom so then it's like facing forward. Then you want to go to plugins, and this here is load character. I'll leave the link in the description, but here is going to show already pros avatar. So you want to change it to whoever avatar username you're going to be using. So I'm going to be using mine here. I'm just going to type underscore YouTube, and that is my character. So I'm going to use I'm going to spawn R6 because that is what I'm going to be using. So. I'm just going to move this back here. So here is my Roblox character in Roblox Studio. So you want to use your keys like Shift and F to move your screen around. And then, so here's my character. And to export it, what you want to do is click on your username. So you want to right click that. And then after you right click it, at the bottom, you want to click Export Selection, and that is going to save it. So you want to type in whatever you want your file name to be. So here, I'm just going to type in Animation, because that is what I want my name to be. So the next thing you need is called Blender. You want to click Blender. And when you enter Blender, it is going to show a screen just like this. So your screen is going to look like this, and you need 2.79. So you want to change Blender Render to Cycles Render so that you can get your color. And to get rid of this cube, you want to click X and then click Delete. Now you want to go to File, and this is how you will import your Roblox character. Click Wavefront OBJ, and then go to where you saved it. I saved mine at my desktop, so I'm going to go to desktop and click animation.obj. Make sure it says obj or else it will not work. So you want to click import obj and you want to wait for it to finish loading depending on how big your file is. So here I have these sparkles. I'm just going to right click that and delete because I don't need that. So I'm just going to delete those. Now you want to click shift and F and then Go to the front of your character, so I'm going to do that. So I am in front of my character, and now I'm going to show you how to make the actual animation. So you want to click the snow bunny effect thing and click material, and that's how you're going to get your color. And then I'm going to move the legs over because like they're out of place, so that's just what I like to do, especially when I am doing thumbnails. I'm just going to move these up a bit. And just do whatever you like need to do for the legs or whatever. Now, as you can see, we have a bar here. You want to make sure you bring that bar up so that you have like more space and you can see what you're actually doing. So you want to bring that up and then on the side, you can see there is a record button. So you want to click that. And then... After you do that, the next step is you have your character, right? You want to click the view and then click camera. And then if you like, you can actually change your resolution. And that's going to be the size of it. So my size is going to be 600 PX by 600 PX. And I'm going to change 50% to 100%. Then go to the world icon and then click ambient occlusion so that you have a nice bright thing right and then I'm going to bring this to the front of my character and so now I'm in front of my character and the next step you want to do is go down and click where you want your next thing to be so make sure you move this over if you like have that so you don't get distracted but you want to click the record button and then you want to click on the limb that you're going to be moving so I'm going to be using this hand here 
and you want to like put it wherever you're going to do your movements. So I'm going to back this up and like move the arm a bit backwards because I'm going to be doing a waving effect. So at the bottom, you see the bar, right? You want to click that and that is going to show your next movement. So now I'm going to move this over here using this here. And I'm just going to like move that over and curve the arm a bit. Well, that was too much. All right, so I'm going to be using the blue one here to make the arm go a little bit backwards. And my next part, I'm going to put it kind of in between 20 and 40. And I'm just going to go ahead and move the arm a bit. You guys probably kind of get the idea of how to do it already. So like you just want to move it and every movement that you do, make sure that you click the space that you want to do. So like you guys see the bar at the bottom. Yeah, just watch what I'm doing here. So I am just using the tools at the bottom here to make the arm move. So I'm going to move this over a bit. And this is going to be my next animation. So my movement I'm going to be doing is making the arm kind of go like a little bit up. So like it's going to wave. So you want to use that there. So I'm going to be using the blue thing here. But this is what it's going to look like so far. Let me just go to the beginning so I can show you guys see. So the arm is going to kind of move like this here. And that's how I want the arm to move. And... If you want to make a really long animation, that's on you. But the longer your animation is going to be, the longer that it will render, depending on how fast your laptop is. So I'm going to move this over here. Okay. And I'm going to make the arm kind of go like up. So then I'm going to be doing a waving effect. So I'm going to bring this all the way back here. And I'm going to bring this up and then use the blue tool and go up. You see how I did that by using the tools here? And then like every mark, you're going to have a yellow mark just to show how it is. So this is what it's looking like so far. And if you actually want your animation to end at a specific time, you can use these tools at the bottom. That's a start and end. So... This is what it's going to look like. Let's play this right now. But this is just what it's going to have a look. Like This is what it's going to look like. And if you want to change anything about the animation, just click Control and Z. And that's how you go back. So now, here's what the arm is looking like. And if you want to curve the arm, you can use the curving tool. Just like this, and now we're going to actually make the waving effect. This is what is going to actually kind of like give you that intro effect. And just for you to know, if you have any questions, leave them in a the comment and I'll try my best to answer them. So this is what it looks like. And sorry if I'm saying... This is what it looks like a lot, but like I'm actually showing you guys what it looks like. <laughs> Alright, so that is how it turned out. Now, if you want to add a colored background like most of you do for your intros, go to the world icon and click on color. Now pick a color that you want, that's up to you. So I'm just going to use this dark blue here, and I'm actually going to make it a little bit brighter. So it's kind of like an indigo type of color. So you just want to choose what color you want to use. And then, yeah, basically go to render at the top. And you cannot use a transparent background for this because it will not render. So click render on the left hand corner. But make sure you stop. Make sure you stop recording, okay? At the bottom, click Render Image, and then your image is going to start to render. And